Welcome back. Looking for our next act? Well, this magician would like to say hello. By day, I'm a professor at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Mathematicians all know that mathematics and magic are often closely related. For instance, the math behind cryptography is very similar to the math behind perfect shuffles. Do a perfect shuffle eight times, you get back to exactly the order in which you started. Is that magic or is it math? I guess it's both. In the classroom, I like to do magic that relates to the math that we're studying because it's more fun than just writing equations on the blackboard. With super smart students all around me, I have to go the extra mile to make my magic more fooling. That experience should come in handy. Penn, Teller, let's see if you can crack my code. Put your hands together for Professor Matt Baker and his magical students, Penn and Teller. All right, well in just a moment, you're going to be playing a game with one of these packets of M&Ms. Penn, please choose whichever packet you like. Place it right over here. Uh, and we won't be needing the rest of these. Now, Penn, since this is a magic trick, I need you to make a prediction. Who do you think is going to win the game? You or Teller? Teller. OK. I like the unexpected modesty there. <laughs> and Teller, you get to make a prediction as well, which is what the margin of victory will be. Now, I don't want you to just say a number out loud. I mean, not that you would. Uh, instead, we're gonna do this Vegas style. So Teller, I'd like you to place the die on whatever number you like, but keep it hidden so no one can see, and then cover it up, okay? And just tap me on the shoulder once you've done that. All right. Oh, and I almost forgot. I brought along name tags for you guys. So, uh, let's see. Teller, you get the one that says winner. And Penn, sorry, you get the one that says loser. I've worn this before. <laughs> well, we're almost ready to play the game, but first, you each need to choose three of these colors. And so, Penn, if you would, uh, just say stop whenever you like. Stop. Right there. Okay, and tell her if you would please uh, cut and complete. Okay, perfect. Uh, pick them up like you're playing a game of cards and deal them back and forth. All right, square those up, gentlemen. These are mine. Those are yours. And uh, now it's time to play the game. Okay. So, Penn, this is the candy packet that you chose, mm -hmm. correct? Now, this is a totally free choice. I want you to divide these candies up evenly between yourselves. Ready, set, go. You got nine, there's 10. All right. Now, Ben, even though you picked yourself to be the loser, I want to give you every possible chance to win. So would you like to swap out any of your candies? Uh, yeah. I'll give, I'll give Teller four blues, okay. and I'll take the browns. OK. In honor of Van Halen. <laughs> so Penn gets uh, those browns. Mm -hmm. Teller, you get those. Now. Uh, it's time that I explain the rules of the game. <laughs> so each candy that matches one of your colors will earn you one point. Mm -hmm. So Teller, you ended up with blue, green, and yellow. Now, Penn gave you a whole bunch of those blues. Good for you. So you have points for all of those blues. You did not get any greens or yellows, and the orange does not score you a point. Let's see which ones you're playing for. So you've got brown, orange, and red. So you get, um, there's four points for browns, two oranges, and one red. So you have uh, seven points, correct? Mm -hmm. And tell her you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points. Mm -hmm. So just as Penn predicted, the winner of the game is indeed Teller. Yeah. 
But remember, Teller made a prediction as well, which is what the margin of victory would be. Now in the game you guys just played, the final score was nine to seven, mm -hmm. which means that Teller won by exactly two points. Teller, for the first time, please lift up the bowl and show everyone your prediction. Ladies and gentlemen, just as I expected, our master magicians totally nailed that prediction. But the question remains, Penn, Teller, did you fool yourselves doing it? We'll go think about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Penn and Teller. All right, boys, get to work. So you're a professor and a magician. That's right. So do those two go hand in hand? I feel like they do. Uh, mathematics and magic go together in the sense that there's a real analytical side to both. Hopefully people are excited to see me pull out a trick in class and they, I think they're just excited that their professor is a real person that does things outside of solving equations. Well, let's see if Penn and Teller have fooled themselves. Are okay. we ready? All right, let's do this, boys. Ah, oh, professor, professor, boy. Hi. Ah, sometimes people really make us work on this show. <laughs> Not equivocally a great trick. Usually things that are procedural and have all that stuff going on get, get dull, and it really does, and you created a, a really beautiful thing. And the mathematics, ah, we've just been busting our brains on that. But uh, there was that moment with the blue M&Ms where I traded all the blue M&Ms over to Teller, and uh, I think that might be what gave him the edge. And that die thing, having Teller have any choice when he lifted that thing up, it's really a, an electric moment with the audience. You can just feel them going, pow, as that big punchline comes. And uh, we went through all the, all the math that we could in our heads, and we went through the, uh, the few uh, magic moves that we think we caught. And uh, like a professor of mathematics, we kind of added it up, and uh, boy, you created a great trick, but we don't think you fooled us. Oh, Matt, do, do they know the method to your magic? I think so. They're uh, really smart guys, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a smart guy as well, and we really enjoyed that. Matt Baker, everyone, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> I need a minute to ask Penn and Teller, or maybe more than a minute, just how that last trick was done. But we'll be right back after this, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>